Hello, people of the internet. I'm Zorak Dragon, and welcome back to Slay the Spire. We had a live stream which we were quite victorious on. Our win death streak is balancing out slightly, just slightly. Um, yeah, we got a couple wins on the live stream. I did go over the patch notes there, and we also did climb the first level of Ascension mode as the Ironclad. I will likely not be doing that just yet because Ascension mode is tough. And I want to try and save that for maybe the live streams. Uh, let's see here, what do we got? Next three combats have one health, is not going to be useful. Obtain a curse, random rare card, choose a card to obtain. Uh, none of these are particularly useful. I guess we choose a card to obtain. Okay, Infernal Blade, I can move it. I like the Infernal Blade. Okay, and then we will go here, I suppose. You guys aren't terrible. Aww. Oh. Boop. And take only two. Which we can heal up. But yeah. Uh, we are getting better at this game. It's obvious if you watch the live stream, and hopefully it'll be obvious watching this. Uh, six damage to everything, sure. Right? Yeah, it's better than four damage to two of them. Okay, but yeah, we are getting better at this game. I feel like it is only a matter of time before we master it in levels that have not been seen before. Hmm? Maybe. I don't know. Probably not. I don't have that much confidence about my gaming abilities. Oh, none of those. Keep going. Oh, Cultist Man. Easy first turn. I kind of wish we could have gotten the bash. But, if wishes were shooting stars in the night sky, airplanes, something along those lines. I don't know what you're saying. Uh, Infernal gives us Sword Boomerang. That's nine. Um, bash. And then it turns into 12. We do take 6. But we heal 6 at the end of combat, and we have a decent chance of killing him this next round. Decent turns to a guaranteed chance. Goodbye, cultist. Okay, strength potion is good. I will take spot weakness. It's a decent enough card. Slimy slimes. Spot the weakness. Infernal Blade gets you Twin Strike for free, so that's 16 damage. You kill this one. Or, let's see, 9 and 8 is 16, is only 25. That's not enough for lethal. Uh, yeah, knock 3 damage off the board and then get some heavy hits in. We will take 2 damage overall from this encounter. I think Infernal Blade is definitely going to be the first upgrade that we are going to do. Spot Weakness is fine as is. Another Strength Potion is fine. And Thunderclap is a very good card. Um, Upgrade two cards for 16 health? Sure. Defend and Strike. Meh. Is all I can really say. Um, Upgrade a card in your deck? Yeah. Upgrade Infernal Blade. And then, I do think that we take on this elite. These guys. Okay. These guys are a bit on the annoying side. So we will strength pot up, just so that we can be a little bit safer here. As far as damage taken, damage dealt. And we had two strength potions, so I mean, why not? Okay, that's annoying, but it's fine. Of course, they're all gonna attack me now. Uh, cannot kill you without popping the other strength potion. So, just take 16. We will win this fight. I can see that happening. We are gonna take a fair amount of damage from it. Obvious Infernal Blade. 14 damage. Okay, we have lethal on... 
We could technically kill this one, actually. We could kill two of them. And that sounds like a good plan to me. The vulnerability will only last the turn, and then we're good. And then there was one. Defend as much as we can, and then just start slashing at him. Don't give him any quarter. Just kill him. Uh, we will have to give him some quarter this time. Because I'm not burning my other strength potion. So yeah, all in all, we took a fair bit of damage from this one. But, I think that's fine. Hopefully we get a good relic for it. Barja is a good relic. I am not going to take Flex. I found that it's not as good as one might think. And then we upgrade Thunderclap to be a little bit more versatile. Okay, uh, looking at pathing, we do probably want to hit the shop up. We have a fair amount of money. Leader man. Okay, spot the weakness clearly. And then just take no damage. Not the greatest, but not the worst first turn. Um, clap your hands. And kill the looter. Good. No damage. Just heals. I do not need another thunderclap. This chest contains Charon's Ashes. Whenever you exhaust a card, deal three damage to all enemies. Okay. Um... Start of combat, gain one dex isn't useful. Prayer wheel isn't useful either. Feed and remove a basic defect. Feed for health growth possibilities and the basic defend being gone because we don't need that many defense. Okay. Show sure that. How do we do? Take no damage. Heal a little bit. And then hit you because you have the most defense. I'm doing the range on potion now because this combat, I'm going to try and stall it out if possible. Try and get a feed off as well. You know how it is. These guys aren't terribly hard hitting. And there was the feed. Just gotta survive three more turns. Easily done. Especially if we can keep somewhat defensively. Mm, that's that's instant lethal. Uh, block and hit. We can kill any of them with a single blow. Hit none of them. End turn. Just let them go. Let them keep going. We can just we can end their pathetic lives at any given time now, despite being weakened. Okay, they have eleven. I don't like that. Now they only have five. There we go. One more turn is all we need to last, and then we can just lay this little louse and get on with our life in this run. Unfortunately, that's not possible because he would do damage to me, so die. Shame that I didn't get that last bit of regen potion, but we did get a fair amount. Heavy Blade is well worth it considering we have a high amount of strength. Okay, uh, clap your hands for certain here. Then feed off of this one, because it's got the most health and it's dealing a lot of damage. And then attack. We'll take one, nope, we'll take plus three damage from this whole encounter. Not bad, all I'd all consider. Not bad at all. And none of those are worth it, so keep going. I do not think I need to take on another elite. I will head to the fire here and upgrade feed. Good. This shop is probably going to be useless to us, but we might as well check it anyways. 
Yeah, it's sadly useless to us. This isn't a ter- that's not a terrible relic to get, but oh well. And Smith again. This time, go for spot weakness. Alright. Boss fight, ahoy! It is the Hexaghost. Excuse me. Don't know who heard that, but excuse me nonetheless. I don't think I'm gonna need my strength potion for this one. Okay. Uh, he's doing 42 to us. That's fine. Yeah, 42 is fine. We can take it. Hit me with the best shot here, Hexaghost. See? We can take it. Okay, nice hand here. Gives us a flash, so I do have to play the defend. I was probably gonna play it anyways, but you know how it is. Try, I'm gonna try and get the feet off here. It's possible, but not overtly so. Um, debating in the mind, debating in the mind. Let's not take any damage. Because if we do want to get the feet off, we're likely going to have to go through a second massive hit. And of course, we draw spot weakness when he is not hitting us. Oh well. He is now vulnerable for three turrets. That's good. 14 damage, and there's feet again. Uh, that'll deal 43, and 25 is 68. Not enough unless we do this second. Yep, that's enough. Cost us the energy potion, but I think it was worth it. And I will take Demon Form. We're going to try for a Strength-focused build here. No longer gain gold does not sound good. I will take the Question Card, I suppose. The Runic Dome is just a bad relic to get. Extra energy means nothing if you cannot anticipate your enemy's movements. Okay, what do we have on this floor? Do do or do do. Yeah, I think this is probably gonna be the route. We can go a little bit longer and get a shop up. Yeah, I think that'll probably be what we do. Birds! Hello, birds. Okay, uh, let's see what we got here. Alright. Mm-hmm. Good to see, good to see. Let's not take any damage. I do not want to take damage early in a row. Plus, that was mainly... That was not really the best of hands, I can say. Alright, demon form would mean we take 30 damage if we wish to activate it. Or we can knock one of these birds out of the sky... We knock this one down and only take 17. I think we only take 17 damage here. Because, yeah, Demon Form is not worth that much to me. Ow. Ow. Okay, there's a clap of thunder. Also pop the blade. Body slam. We'll deal five because of our strength. Okay. We can knock another bird out of the air, or we can kill one that's on the ground. I think you kill the one that's on the ground first. And then hit that one, deal a little bit more damage. Caw caw! Caw caw! These birds sure like to caw caw. Okay. 26 damage from the two birds. And we can only kill one of them. Okay. Not 13 damage off the board. Not the best of combats here. 30 damage taken overall. 
Uh, if we can get the feed off, I think we still have it in deck. Yeah, we'll get it next turn. So we'll take an additional five damage to heal another four. Just because I think it is worth our time. Okay, and we take... Eh, we don't need any of these. Armaments is good if you are planning on going a big deck, but I'm not. I'm probably fairly satisfied with our current deck size. Bash Clumsy. Jack of all trades. Eh, didn't really want that. Limit Break I would very much like, but we will not get it. Shame. So Jack of all trades is a zero cost skill that I think exhausts. Yeah, it's exhaust and adds one random colorless card to our hand, so... Um... Exhaust your hand, deal 8 damage for each card exhausted. Okay, so then... And then this one's exhausted. So then that'll deal 15 at least to everybody. Thinking here. Anything... None of them deal more than 11. So let's get that out of the way. None of them deal more than 11. Bash is arguable there, because it will make that a little bit better. Um, Bash you. Now you'll deal 15, and you'll deal 12 for each, so that's 36. That's instant death to you. But then, four exhausts is a dozen. I do think you do the 36 damage here. No. 36 there, and then a dozen will be lethal on you, and we'll still have a vulnerable one on board. I miscalculated somewhere in that math. I very clearly miscalculated. Because you were the vulnerable one, and you took a dozen damage. That's... I didn't miscalculate, I was a dum-dum. A very big dum-dum. We got it, but we took 10 damage that we did not need to take. And none of the... Uh, mm -mm. We'll take fire breathing. It's interesting, to say the least. Uh, remove a card from our deck. That is good. I will remove the useless Jack of Trades, I think. Because while it does exhaust, I just don't like the feel of it more than anything else. Not the greatest starting hand there, but we got some vulnerability inflicted. For the Snakeo, he's dealing 8 to me. Ooh, this is a terrible hand. I think he got an Infernal Blade. And, I mean, that did 28, which is a little bit more than what Heavy Blade would have dealt, so... It's something. You inflict like it's vulnerable. Ouch. And then a dozen. Well, this hand, at the very least plays itself for the most part. Only takes seven. Twenty-two. Ouch. Uh, we got lots of good stuff in this hand, however. We, in fact, had lethal. And munches. Good. Uh, no card this time. Head here. I think you smith and upgrade demon form to make it a little bit more worth using. And then we head this way because we want to hit that shop up later on. Because we have 211 gold. Okay. Fire breathing for free. Spot the weakness. Infernal Blade gives you the headbutt. Uh, Thunderclap. 
headbutt to get Thunderclap back and block three of the damage. He goes higher defense. Just one more attack will kill you, and we have that in the Thunderclap. And then just unload on this as much as you can. You do take ten. Ow. We're not really keeping our health up, I'm understanding here. That's exact lethal already. We don't want exact lethal. This is also exact lethal, and it gives us some healing. There we go. Um... I will say you take the Clash. We're gonna probably remove a Defend at our next opportunity. Which is right now. Remove a basic Defend, please. Thank you. Chest contains... The Whetstone! Upgraded Heavy Blade and a Strike. That is perfectly fine with me. And then Smith will actually rest. Because I was feeling a little bit low on the old health front there. There we go again. Oh boy, I don't like you, Snake Plant. I don't like you one iota. Thunderclap is good. It means that Heavy Blade will deal heavy damage. And there's the first round done. Over half damage done, we do get frailed and weakened. Screw you, by the way. Um. So Clash is locked out. This will make us take 21 damage. Or... Hmm. If he didn't have that malleable thing, I would definitely go with Strike... Strike, um, Fire Potion, but he does. But this is not a combat you want to draw out for very long. So take 15 damage. Okay, spot weakness. Fire Breathing, because we can. Clap the Thunder, we just need to deal 16, and we got it good. That was a bit of a puzzle there. Uh, definitely take Cleave, because it's Cleave Plus, and we need some AoE damage skills. Uh, these two schmucks. Breathe Fire. We'll take a hit here. 20 damage to be exact, but there was not really any avoiding it. Okay, Frail, uh, you are going for the heal. Do that. Carnage deals 19. So Thunderclap first. Deal 28. And then Munch. And then Useless Defend is useless. But still, we got our feet off. We took care of the main concern in this group. And we'll just kill her at our leisure. Though, I figured she was going to be attacking soon. Uh, that... This will deal 26. Yeah. Still going to take 10. We're definitely going to have to be resting at the fire before the boss. Um, just crush her. 69. It's well worth it. Uh, definitely gotta take Limit Break as well. If we can, we will seek to upgrade Limit Break. Go Preparations. And this combat has potential to be dangerously bad. But it also can be done taking very little damage, potentially. Um, so we will take five. This one is likely dead next turn, especially if we see Cleave, which has a chance of showing up. 
we do see cleave, we also see limit break. So limit break. Cleave. Nom nom nom. Good. So so eleven, we healed four, we're gonna heal six, we're gonna take one damage overall from this encounter. Uh, yeah, take in flame. And then we hit up the shop. 227 gets us. Gotta take the Ori Calca. Gotta take it. It's too good not to take. Sadly, we can't remove a card, but that's fine. Hit here up for the heal of 35 health. That's very nice. And then we're up against the champion. He is the champion. We will save the limit break for now until after we get demon form up. He metallicized the first round. That's honestly probably one of the first times I've seen that happen. So we're dealing ten. Well, dealing four because of work help. Vulnerable sucks. He is going to go for power, so we will as well. Let's see who can get the most swole first champ. Oh man, you're upping your defensive stance. That's actually a bit annoying. And we'll save limit break even still. Next time we draw it, we will likely play limit break. I'll be fine. Yeah, we can tank 22, but let's not. Let's take 14. Better safe than sorry. And then 15. We can do that. Stack. going to be doing his super buff soon, I feel. Not yet. 22. We can deal 178 damage to him. He is nearly dead. He is dead next round. We have him by all rights. You can do your buff. Okay, you're no longer vulnerable. That does change things. Not at all. We're gonna eat this champion alive. Very nicely done, if I say so myself. Uh, we'll take the next potion, and we will take none of these. Another feed. Eh. So skip the card, and then the relic wise. I suppose we take Tiny House. Potion's useless. And none of these are useful at all. So, I'm going to call this episode here. Next time on Slay the Spire, we shall finish up this Ironclad run and probably start a silent run. For now, though, I've been Solar Act Dragon. I hope that you've enjoyed this video. If you have, leave me some feedback in the form of a like or a comment. If you guys want to check out more videos by me, be sure to check out my channel below. And if you like what you see, drop me a subscription. Outside of all that, I will see you all in the next video. Have a fantastic day, everybody.